you are stupid, my friend. You are very naive. If you really believe that uh, you find a good girl, it's, it's possible. Good morning, Sasha. Good morning. <laughs> So, Sasha, we, we uh, decided to do this video. Let's just talk about that for a second because so many uh, foreign men are reaching out to us at Match Guarantee uh, asking for help because they're being scammed by either professional scammer woman or scamming marriage agency. Yes. And they're going deep into these scams and some of it's costing guys north of $100,000. Some of the scams are really bad. So we agreed to do this video to help give them tips and instill some background and knowledge. You worked in law enforcement as a police officer in Sumy, well, in Ukraine for six years. Yes. Let's start yes. there. Now, so guys understand your background, where you come from, which is why you can give such great advice to foreign men to help them not fall into these scam traps. Okay. Uh, yes, I agree with you that uh, this video we make to help, first to help people, foreign guys, to uh, understand uh, scam understand uh, what to do or what not to do mm -hmm. and uh, how we can help them. Uh, yes, I work in police uh, six, six years and uh, sometimes uh, I was close uh, in my work with the uh, Department of uh, Human Trafficking and uh, also I work in police and criminal police. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the socials? You know, these parties where there's ten women to every one man. Party. And and the age differences, like father daughter. Like yes. The men are fi in their fifties, and the girls are in their twenties. Maybe it's some older guys. What do you think <laughs> of those socials? Are they? Are, is it real? Are these are these girls really interested in meeting these guys? Or what's it about? Do you think? <laughs> My friend, uh, you must understand that uh, age difference it's a big problem, and if you. 50, 45, you must, uh, you want to find a girl, yes? You, find, you want to find a girl, and a girl. you must uh, find a girl maybe 30, maybe 35. Because a big age difference, it's like you say, father and daughter. Mm -hmm. And what child want? They want a gift, a present, yes? Mm -hmm. They want money. Mm -hmm. They don't care about you mm -hmm. at all. Yeah. Yeah, uh, these girls, young girls, look at uh, foreign guy as bank of, of bank, bank of, of money. Yes, bank of money. Yes, and what you, if you propose as much as possible, they love you as much as possible. <laughs> In fact, there's a there's a joke in Ukraine, right? Yes. That what is man? Definition of man? It's bank of with penis. Right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's so what, yes. So so what age difference do you think is acceptable and what's too much? What's your opinion? Uh, it's what I must say about agency uh, who makes this party. They say that uh, we have good girls, yes, and they pay to see you. They pay uh, for ticket on train. They pay for hotel when they come to Kiev. Or yeah, agencies say the girls pay from their own pay. pocket yes. to come and meet the men. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's uh, ridiculous. The airfare, the train, accommodations. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah, my friend, you must understand that uh, if girl or girls uh, have this money to pay, they don't believe at all. Good girls don't believe, and then they don't pay. They don't have this kind of money. Yes. It's like yes. A, a, a month or two salary just to pay for these expenses to come to the social. What, for what they pay? They pay for nothing, yes? Mm -hmm. At first. It's social. You can come, you meet or not meet, you like or not like, and then you go to home without anything. Without any result. Yes, any result. And uh, in Ukraine, people pay for result. Mm -hmm. Good people pay for result. Stupid people pay for nothing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have money I pay. Okay. So are you saying that, I'm just reading between the lines mm -hmm. to make sure I understand you mm -hmm. correctly. You're saying, do you know any girls, good girls, that would pay their no. own expenses, train, <laughs> no. hotel accommodation to go to one it's of these socials? It's a joke. It's a joke. Yes. If uh, I ask a good girl, I really understand this. If I ask a good girl, okay, you go to this party, some kind of party, you pay for everything and maybe you find. 
And what about what? bad girl? Even a bad girl. Does she have the money to pay for her own expenses, her own uh, flight or train and accommodation to go to these socials? Does she even have the money? Bad girl. Ah, but girls uh, don't pay this money. They don't pay either. No, no. no so no. the agency has to agency, pay, agency pay to get for, these girls for to come. All, for all, for everything. Yes, because agency uh, get money from client, mm -hmm. and they pay. They get money, big money from client, mm -hmm. and pay little money mm -hmm. for this party. And that's why it's it's good. Yes, they get money. They uh, pay for girls. Girls come to this party, and nothing happened. So again, reminding everybody, Sasha, you worked in in this area of human trafficking in your background with, 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 with the Department yes. of Human Trafficking. So you, you understand the systemic corruption in this mail-order bride marriage agency industry. You understand all this stuff, how it works. You've seen it for years. Yes. So it's not speculation. You, you, you know the way it is, right? Yes, it's, it's uh, my friend. 99% as you say, is scam. Mm -hmm. scam. Uh, this agency, it feels they want one just get money from you mm -hmm. and that's all at first they they don't they don't want to help for a guy they just at first they just want to get money mm -hmm. and then maybe if they can they help but it's little percent mm -hmm. very little maybe impossible let's talk for a moment about the economic situation in ukraine and why there's so many people men and women certainly a lot of women that want to leave ukraine for a better life uh, it's a pretty difficult situation, especially since the Maidan uh, massacre, uh, what, uh, February 2014? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. it, it, the economy just really crashed then. The Grivna went from 8 to 1 to 28 to 1. Uh, uh, price of products, everything went up. Yes. Salaries, yes, job yes, salaries yes. went down. Yes, yes. Uh, it's uh, very hard to find a good job. Mm -hmm. And if you find, Good job, you get <laughs> very little money. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. Uh, it's impossible to live on this money. As it's I, it's as it's I it's understand this, yeah. three thousand on a month, three thousand greeners to live in Ukraine. Yeah. If you live in village, maybe. But yeah, like one hundred and ten dollars a month, which is uh, which is a, a normal salary for Sumi here mm. in, in Ukraine, and yes. people are expected to live on that. Mm. So they have to do something extra. Yes. And especially if it's, if it's a single mom and she needs to put food on the table for her child, yes. you know, it kind of forces her into a lot of these ladies, into this industry, into this ugly business. And they just kind of numb themselves over and think, what, well, it's, it's naive foreign man. And if he wants to, thinks he can have me, beautiful 22-year-old, and he's 55 or something, he's naive, he's stupid, I don't mind to take his money. Right? Yes, it's their yes. attitude, right? Yes, yes, my friend. If you want to find young girl and uh, different uh, age, different uh, will be uh, 25, 20, 30 uh, years, uh, you are stupid, my friend. You are very naive. If you really believe that uh, you find good girl, it's, it's possible. It's With impossible. a 25 year, 30 age Yes, it's impossible. What is the maximum realistic age difference for a real relationship with love and sustainable? In Ukraine, uh, my opinion, it's uh, seven, ten, maybe twelve years. Mm -hmm. Twelve years, it's it's tough. Mm -hmm. What about um, in our defense? What about the fact that foreign men seem to age better than Ukrainian men? Because maybe we don't have so much stress. Maybe we don't have to work as hard. Have you seen that? Mm. Foreign men look younger. All foreign men? Not all, but. No. My friend. No. My friend. Does that friend. bias a little bit more on the age spread, in your opinion? <laughs> <laughs> Most uh, foreign guy looks much better than uh, our men in uh, their age. Mm -hmm. I think, I think most, most people, most guys. So you agree with that? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And that's why uh, you have uh, many percent of that you find a good girl in different age, but, but you must be real that uh, you must find a girl near your age, near 10 years, 12 years, maybe 15 years, but not, 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 not more, because it's ridiculous if you 
55 or 50 and this young girl, stupid young girl, 20. What you want to find? What you want to find? That's what? not serious. Yes, you want to yeah. get a child. Yes, you can. Yeah. It's good sage advice, Sasha. And uh, I know foreign guys don't want to hear it, but we call it zone of success at Match Guarantee. You, you, you've got to be within your zone of success if you want a real relationship. And a big part of it is age. Isn't it the biggest mistake we see foreign men making over and over again is choosing too young a girl? The biggest mistake, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. It's the first, first biggest mistake. Mm -hmm. If you uh, want to find, you must start in your age. And then yeah. maybe, maybe you find a younger, small girl and uh, she like you and you like her, but start in little, then you, you try mm -hmm. and you find. Mm -hmm.